Hey guys, a very warm welcome to this particular video. My name is Gaurav Madan and today we are here to discuss something really, really important, something which I get asked almost, you know, every single day. A lot of people would ask me this question. Hey Gaurav, I am new in digital marketing. How do I get started with digital marketing? So if you are also new and would like an answer on this, a really good perspective which can help you grow further, then let's begin. So first thing first, which, uh, you know, one thing which you have to understand even before you begin, like why are you in digital marketing? If you look at my screen right now, there are two reasons you could be in digital marketing. You know, one reason could be that you saw that it is a growing field because of COVID, everything became online, uh, adoption became really, really heavy and a lot of people are demanding, companies are demanding the skills. So, you know, you are actually going ahead and you're in it for money. That's number one. Second, it could be because, you know, you love marketing as a whole. And since you love marketing, you just can't, you know, let go the digital aspect of marketing as a whole. So for people who are in number one category, people who are actually after money, one thing which I would like to say to you is this is not for you. Please stop. The reason I say so is because there are far more better options which you can use in if you really want to make money. For example, AI is something which you should get into. It's a field of future, right? Uh, virtual reality is something which you should get into. So if you're looking for really getting into money, money business, you know, that's where you need to do. You, need, you, you should just go to artificial intelligence or perhaps, you know, something called as virtual reality. These two are really, really good things. And uh, I think so it can make you a lot of money. Now, let's, since I've addressed the part of the money here, now let's talk about the passion because, you know, this is, a, this is going to be a long journey and not everybody without passion can actually endure it or outcome, I mean, kind of have an outcome which is positive because there would be a lot of downfalls, right? So let's start. So if you are passionate about digital marketing, there are two ways for you to get started, you know. So one is the old uh, time-taking competitive DM way of actually going to institutes and learning the basics of digital marketing first, right? Getting a certificate and then perhaps uh, going forward and, you know, doing a job. So that's like old uh, method of doing, uh, taking competitive DM. So for example, uh, majority of these people would teach you about content, SEO, uh, building social media pages organically, uh, then answering questions on Quora, starting a new YouTube channel, all these, you know, tactics which are organic and primarily which are like old now because, you know, organic is literally dead. So uh, there is like, even if you go to these pages who are actually advertising these programs to you, you should check their engagement, right? They'll, you'll understand one, they are actually advertising it to you with the help of ads. Two, uh, you know, they're not much great in organic means. So, uh, you know, blogging, content, SEO, uh, it's all good. It's not bad as a part of long term strategy, you must learn. But then yeah, it's not something you know, which I recommend uh, to begin with with your like, you know, your DM journey. And the reason is very simple, because I don't want uh, you to actually go ahead and, you know, kind of fall into trouble of slowness of digital. So there is an alternate way, which is new fast result based DM basically, it's like result based digital marketing. And very few people even today uh, do this kind of marketing is because uh, they're not aware of it, they have not been trained on it, and they are scared as well of experimenting with it. Okay, so when we talk about new fast paced result based, uh, you know, DM, there are two things which are going to be part of it. One is going to be skills you need to master and second is going to be what kind of monetization models are there which you can use. All right, so let's go uh, on the part of skills and let's open this up. So first thing which you need to do is you need to learn some really good skills. First thing which is called as copywriting, the very first thing. Now copywriting as a whole, a very few institutes or people would actually teach you on the skill. But it's the core of marketing without copywriting you're nothing. Absolutely zero, okay? Because if this is not there, I mean, you can, you can literally, uh, you know, uh, swap your ass across the floor, you know, left, right, center, every single day, single night, without sleeping, doing all that you could. But if your copywriting is not right, you're going to literally, literally, literally cry. Okay. So first thing which you need to master is copywriting. And it's a skill not like, you know, quote unquote, it's just some formula which you can use. It's something which is very deep. It's psychology. 
it's something which is about marketing you know understanding your customer understanding their pains understanding their limiting beliefs altering their beliefs persuading them to buy uh, using different tactics and all using the help with the help of like you know or either video text or audio these are the three formats with which we can communicate on internet right so you need to go ahead and learn copywriting it's very very important i can't stress this enough you know this is just like the core of everything all right second thing what you need to do is you need to go ahead and you know learn funnels now we all understand there are websites you know wordpress websites people will teach you about all these things but then what they don't teach you about is you know funnels now funnels are the core of everything which we do online successfully okay because with websites people get distracted but with funnels uh you know dedicated funnels which are meant to increase uh, the conversions the average order value and lifetime value of a customer over a period of time of 12 months or so that's something which is very important you know you will be learning landing pages you'll be learning value journey upsells downsells bumps email sms whatsapp and then different kinds of funnels are there you know for based on the product the ticket size you would actually have to use different kind of funnels for example if you have a low low ticket product you could directly run ads for example you know e-commerce they have like products like 1000 bucks you know that cheap so people can you can run direct ads to it then if you have something which is mid ticket you know anything about 5k to 25k then you can run webinar funnels if you have anything beyond 25k you know uh, or like 1 lakh for example you got to run application funnels and then there are a lot of different tactics viral funnels quiz funnels survey funnels uh you know uh, local uh, lead generation funnels or or you know i mean they're just like dearth of the funnels so you need to understand which one to use when so this is that is very important and that's something not much of the people are actually going to teach you anyways i have this uh, right here listed so i can show you some funnels for sure okay so type of funnels okay so i mean the guy, i don't want to really confuse you honestly but yeah uh, it is what it is let me just give me a moment yeah so these are the kind of funnels which are there if you see so we have lead magnet funnel membership boot camp funnel local business funnel webinar funnel auto webinar funnel viral marketing funnel we have sales letter funnel uh, then we have uh, book funnels we have application funnels we have bridge page funnels squeeze page funnels we have blog funnel we have group funnel we have microsite funnels we have case study funnels we have ecom funnels and we have appointment funnels or more like you know application funnels so diff- there's like tons and tons of types of different kinds of funnels which are there so uh, you know you need to learn all of this this is very very important because uh, you know what like what is the kind of strategy you need to follow is all about funnels then what is it that you're going to write to persuade people to buy from you is something called as copywriting and then finally we have ads you know ads is a traffic so unlimited traffic on demand on click you know completely just like if you want water you switch on the tap if you don't want water you switch it off just like that are ads and the most prominent ones which i would really really recommend you to actually go through is google search ads you know primarily uh display ads then we have facebook then we have youtube ads facebook ads i mean these are the three different kinds of platforms i would say that you must must and must do in order to really 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 become a, a kickass marketer so if you combine all three of these you know more like funnels ads and copywritings it's actually lethal copywriting funnels and ads man you're going to get results fast super fast your clients are going to be so much happy about it and you are going to be so much happy because you don't have to wait for 6 months to 8 months just to get a blog post to rank on google and uh, you know really depend on them and then you're also going to talk about like email sms whatsapp how can you really maximize the back end of your funnel which not a lot of people would talk about uh, you know these three things must must do the next thing is you know in skills itself you have some additions which is good you know having an image editing knowing image editing is really good knowing video editing is really good and primarily you could do so by actually learning something called as uh, you know canva for image editing and for video editing you could you know probably use any tool like i'm using camtasia you could use adobe premiere pro you could use uh, final cut pro there's so many tools right filmora this it is like the most uh, basic tool for a lot of people right so uh, if you could actually go ahead and learn these skills uh, you're going to be a really really killer resource for everybody everybody in the market you know people are going to want you like crazy okay so that's something which you need to understand and that's why i'm recommending this to you this is fast upgraded skills of today okay so that's one thing okay so now once uh, once i've gone through the parts of skills you need to go through uh, the next part which is eventually 
how do you go ahead and you know really monetize these skills which you've learned what are the different kind of models obviously have you seen you've seen this right now so the six different kind of models through which you can monetize your skills which you've learned okay uh, the very first skill which is very easy as well and which does not involve any risk uh, at all in terms of investment and anything else is called a job you know people like me when we were starting out even i took a took up a job because you know i mean my my risk appetite was pretty low my parents were not oh, willing to support me after a loan of 18 lakh rupees which i took for my mba right so i didn't join a job but then i was forced to because you know i had to pay my uh, uh i mean the money which i have actually taken for my mba right so now uh, that's the most easiest thing which you can do is get a job that's the most easiest thing honestly second thing which you can do is while doing job you can do freelancing as well you could take up some clients if you're confident enough you could go ahead and you know you take up clients and do things right serve them uh, their their website like freelancer upwork.com uh, and you know there there could be just like freelancing websites you could search and there would be plenty of them where you could get a job apply on it bid on it and then go forward next which you can do is monet with monetization is you could do e-commerce drop shipping drop servicing that's something uh, which a lot of people do so drop shipping was earlier like very famous but then now drop shipping is kind of like low on trend because you kind of take products from china and uh, push it directly to the uh, buyer so basically you're not doing any upfront investment you, people buy from you and then you buy it for them and then like ship it to them directly from the vendor so it's not like uh, you're storing something in your warehouse or something so that's something which is uh, not happening now because of you know various uh, reasons of covid and you know a made in china is now literally like a uh, like as good as like a meme right so so we have then we have drop servicing is something which people are doing you know kind of doing caricatures and then uh, giving custom caricatures on at scale uh hiring people from freelance uh, fiverr.com freelancer.com to do caricatures and then selling the service themselves so basically they get the orders they'll further give the orders and then deliver the caricature this is just one example there are a lot of digital portraits or stuff like that which you can do manipulation art and a lot of stuff and then there is e-commerce like authentic e-commerce which is you like you know white labeling products from china so you could do that if you have vendor connections or if you go to wechat and kind of develop vendor connections find someone who has vendor connections uh you could probably white label products which you want right and then you could sell it in india or uh, us or uk or canada or australia or wherever it's like pretty dope model scales very fast right uh though the profit margins are going to be thin because it's e-commerce at the end of the day right okay so next thing uh, which we are going to see is uh, which you can do is you could do an agency now the next version of freelancing primarily is agency honestly right with agency uh, you could actually go ahead and serve clients officially in the name of a company quote and quote right and then when you serve in the name of company you kind of have it on employees and then you kind of charge them more and all that stuff as something pretty kick ass right so agency is a good model i i i don't say like like servicing is never going to go away right people always want those kind of things people like who who do it for them they don't want to do it any anything themselves they just want to hire people and then let them do it for them all right so that's agency agency is a good model always all right next thing uh we talk about affiliate marketing you know a lot of times times uh, people say that I don't want to make a product. I don't want to get into a e-commerce. I don't want to go and handle support and all that stuff. So what you can do is you can just sell other people's product and make commissions in return. So that's called affiliate marketing. That's what my favorite is, you know, honestly, because there is there are less challenges, easy to get started, and that's what I do. All right. Next is uh, digital products. So you could go ahead and you know you sell digital products. So there are different kinds of digital products, right? From an e-book to a course, uh, to a SaaS product, to a PLR, to an MRR. to a summit a digital summit uh you know to done for you resources like uh, done for you canva ads and for your templates and for your copy templates and for your swipes right plenty of stuff plenty of stuff digital products is like endless okay so these these are the two which i do i particularly which i've highlighted and the reason being you know uh, uh with freelancing and agency i've tried it i've got some good clients and then you know i just it's just not my cup of tea like to talk to people i like to sit in the desk and you know really work around strategy uh, psychology and then you know draft funnels and sell sell people about like all any stuff i want right so that's why i do these two but yeah if you're a people person agency or freelancing is for you if you are somebody who wants to you know take a physical product then e-commerce drop shipping or drop servicing is for you now drop servicing primarily is not going to be a you know physical product it's also going to be a digital product so primarily it should be categorized as a digital product but then like 
digital product uh, at large custom digital product at large uh, you know are doing like not doing yourself but outsourcing it to somebody else and you just doing the orders that's called drop servicing okay so anything drop means like you're not like potentially doing it yourself you're not uh, uh, involved in the process but then like you're the person middleman who's doing everything like connecting the buyer uh, getting the sales and then taking it from the vendor and sending it to them like or directly you know the vendor sends it to them either ways so these are the models which you can follow with regard to monetization now the question comes uh, gorov have you told us you know how we all about all of these things old methods new methods uh, you know skills monetizations passion and money right now the question comes where do you learn from uh, something which is very very important which people say right where do i learn from okay so all i could say is i have the i have courses myself on copywriting funnels and ads you can start with my programs uh, they like pretty good and that's the first part and then if you want to go ahead with learn monetization parts then even i have like a programs on affiliate marketing and digital products right you can learn those things i recommend people uh, uh, you know for agency and e-commerce as well and uh, if you want to do a job just like do a job like primarily go and apply uh, build up your resume and do some practical stuff okay so now apart from all these things one key thing which is very very important is you should always 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 have a website when you're doing digital marketing the reason why you need a website is because you can kind of learn practically how to build landing pages build funnels and all that stuff and that would just take a domain name and hosting go buy a domain name from godaddy buy a hosting from hostinger.com or hostgator.com connect them and just install a wordpress theme and then you know get started there are a lot of different landing page builders like elementor uh, you know primarily which you can use for building landing pages on wordpress so that's what i have for you right now i hope i have been helpful to you in in your decision to actually going ahead and taking digital marketing as a career uh, you know milestone for you cornerstone for you so if you've got any questions i would love to answer them uh, you know i have a community on digital marketing vips you could just go to gormadan.com and like you know kind of join that community and it, you know i would love to ask uh, answer these questions also apart from this one thing which i would really like to recommend while you're doing all this your communication skills are of immense importance so if you could just go ahead and sharpen your skills with regard to having a little bit you know decent english i'm not saying you need to have like a uk accent uh, english or a us accent english not at all american or 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 british or whatever but not really what i what i'm saying is you need to go ahead and you know know how to craft your copy in english how to craft your ads how to craft your funnels uh, and if you know that that is going to really really help for you because you know when you start writing these things like copy, doing copywriting for emails or pages or uh, video scripts or whatever uh, you know communication sometimes becomes a barrier so i don't want that to happen with you so make sure you kind of uh, go ahead and level up with your english speaking and writing skills i mean speaking is still fine if you don't want to speak but writing is something which you must know and i'm not talking about being a grammar nazi or something of like that sort you don't need to know about tenses and all that stuff but you just need to know general english so that you can communicate with people right so i'm communicating with you right now i'm not like a ninja english orator not at all by any means right i do a lot of mistakes as well but then yeah i have uh, enough uh, capacity to actually go ahead and convey my message so having said that I hope you really really enjoyed this video. You know, go ahead uh, check out my uh, you know check out my courses on copywriting funnels, ads and then you enroll in them. Start with copywriting primarily, then start with funnels and then go to ads. And once you're done, you know, would love to really really see your results and I I kind of would love to have you as a mentee. Thank you so much for actually going ahead and watching this video. This is your host Gaurav Madan and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.